Texas Rangers hosting the Houston Astros, and the Astros are minus 170 on the money line. The Rangers are plus 150. The over-under is eight runs. Houston, laying a run and a half, are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win the game by two runs. And Texas, getting a run and a half, are minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way and they don't lose by two or they win the game outright, you'd win. Verlander didn't pitch in 21. Perez pitched with Boston, and he pitched a lot against the Astros. Seven and two-thirds, no runs, no earned. They won that game five to one. Two innings, six runs, six earned. They lost that game seven to one. Two-thirds of an inning, no runs, no earned. One inning, no runs, no earned. A third of an inning, three runs, two earned. They lost that game nine two. One and two-thirds, uh, one inning, two runs, two earned, and they lost that game nine to one. A lot of his matchups were in relief, and it was with a different team, so it is what it is. Head to head, the road team's on a two game winning streak. The Astros are 7 and 3 in their past 10 against the Rangers. The team getting or laying runs is 5 and 5. And the over 8 is 6 3 and 1. And I have to preface that. So, in their past 10 games, they've scored more than 8 runs 6 times. I'm going to take the Astros with the money line, the Astros laying the runs. And I'm going to go over, and people are going to look and go, How could you do that with these pitchers on the mound? The Astros simply just have to score five runs, something like that. And who knows what's going to happen when these teams go to the bullpen. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.